No, that's what I was saying. And I believe you, instead of worshipping these dudes and trying to, you know, and um, subconsciously setting these dudes up, man, we need the wisdom of these dudes because they're ancestors, man. The New York Bloods, um, even, you know, some of the Latin King brothers. Some of the Latin King brothers know the deal. Um, I was listening to one of them brothers. I don't know if it's King Tone. Uh, one of them brothers I was listening to. Um, I think he's in Atlanta somewhere. Somewhere. He was a leader. He was definitely a leader. And this yo, he was yo. This brother was dropping them jewels, man. I was like, whoa, okay. This brother, he know what's up. He was dropping them jewels. Uh, another brother like Mel Cross from the BX. Mel Cross be dropping them jewels. Um, walking book. I, you could call. I'll call the brother. I need some wisdom, brother Mel Cross. And um, see, a lot of times, uh, what we're speaking about, some of some of us never really been through that. We never walked that walk. Just like uh, many of us never walked the walk that many of the ancestors walked in the fifties and the sixties, right? But we get wisdom from them, and they will tell us certain things so we won't make the same mistakes that they make. So I call up the brother Mel Cross, Mel Cross, right? The brothers are elder in the walks. Um, I need your wisdom on such and such and the you know brother give me his wisdom and I and I cherish it and um you know I pay attention to it. I love the brothers lives. Um they're like lessons. I listen to them. So this is what we need to start doing more. Right? I see um so-called OGs, quote unquote OGs that's calling young cats they big homies. Yo, big homie, right? The big the little dude is, is is giving them, supplying them with whatever. He's the big homie now, right? So me myself, I like to call these big the real big homies and get the wisdom from them. And this is what we need to start doing instead of glorifying them. Right? I want to interview some of these brothers, but you know what? Let me build a relationship with the brother semi. And um, let's do some work. Let's put in some work first before we even take a picture or do a video, right? Let's, let us let us set up some work and then we'll do a video promoting that work, you know, things of that nature. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Mel Cross, uh, the brother, I think it's King Tone from the Latin Kings, I can't remember. Um, but these brothers was doing some good things in the community. Uh, brother Stackstone. Stackstone with the Blood Chronicles. He's doing some um, some good things. About to come out with the book. Um, it's crazy. You know, the internet is crazy. It's on fire right now. I'm about to do another live. You know, just going into it, man. The whole Star Brent versus Nori thing is heating up. Because I'm seeing um, some people doing videos about it. Doing, doing some lives, some Instagrams, um, tagging them. Now, me, myself, I think that brother um, Nori... Is wise. I think he's wise. Some people are more wise than they can articulate themselves. I think he's one of those brothers, straight up. The brother might not, you know, come come across like that or articulate himself like that. But the brother is very wise. Noriega from Queens. Now, um, like I, I didn't even watch the whole videos, right? Um, I think Star Brim was had supposedly said something about Nori. I'm not sure, but Nori was jogging or something in LA and he did say yo I don't want no problems with abroad tell your big homies such and such and such but he never said a name so I don't know if he's talking about Star Brent but a couple of people sent me videos and was like yo check this out because I did a video bigging that sister up I was like yo the energy was um was live on the Queen's flip joint I kind of I, I felt it you know I felt it and um like I said I got a lot of female uh, family members, right? And my family, man. So, I, you know, I know. I know that vibe she was talking about. And um, she said she came up good. You know, she joined the gangs. Uh, maybe, you know, because of what was going on in her household. You know, pretty much that's probably what it was. Um, and, you know, the gang, they flipped on her. You know, beating her down, whatever like that. She expressed all of that. And, um, but like I said, I don't know. We got to remember, we don't know these people personally. Like I said before, um, with a lot of the interviews, right? The interviewers and the people that's being interviewed. We don't really know these people. I don't know Star Brim. I'm just going off the vibe that I got on the interview. So don't kill me. Dudes are like, yo, 
you got tricked. You know, how did I get tricked? You know what I mean? The sister, um, you know, she was speaking her piece. Whether she was telling the truth or not. I, I, st I said in another video. Now, check this book. I want, you, I want you to go check this book out, right? Go get it. If you don't have it, I have it. And I have a lot of books similar to it. That's speaking about trauma and recovery. And I did see... Um, some distorts in, in her um, her whole aura. I did see that. And we, a lot of us are dealing with that. You know, coming up from those traumatic situations. It punches holes in your aura. In your auric field. In your personality. In your mood. So, I mean, out of 100%, I would say maybe 75% 75, 75 the sister was truthful. And that's just my opinion. It's not true. So, she could be telling the whole truth. Uh, but for the sister to even come out... Uh, that much and now people are bashing her man she might not ever come out and these sisters will stay embarrassed in the dark man she's gonna push a whole movement man this sister star brim is powerful it's powerful right so I'm saying why are these dudes so intimidated by her? but yo it could be some old energy that I don't know about that she put out in the atmosphere and it's coming back to her so you know man whatever whatever but I think that that interview with uh, Queen's Flip was so powerful and it's going to usher in a new movement.